the Shark Deck. Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. Meghan Markle has shot down any notion that she's not attending the coronation because of the royal racist letter. Friend of the Sussexes, Omid Scoby, posted the statement on his Twitter account. It read, The Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and, frankly, ridiculous. We encourage tabloid media and various other royal correspondents to stop exhausting the circus that they alone are creating. A report in The Sun suggests Harry is missing aspects of British life and may start spending more time in the UK. A source told The Sun, Harry was desperate to come back for the coronation and spend quality time with his family. The Mirror's royal editor, Russell Myers, said Harry has been calling home a lot. He's homesick. He does miss his family. Meanwhile, Meghan popped up for the first time in a while and was described as beaming when appearing on a video to introduce a TED talk by her longtime friend and photographer, Mizen Harriman. Mizen posted a photo on Instagram showing Meghan on the screen. Milan wrote, The Duchess of Sussex was kind enough to introduce me onto the stage for my at TED. Thank you for the support, Meg. The Mirror describes Meghan as having her sleek, straight hair cascading over her shoulders while wearing a white top with the screen, indicating her name as Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Kate was also out and about, making a surprise visit to a baby bank. The Daily Mail reports Kate was elegant in a smart beige 285-pound blazer from Reese for the occasion, which she wore with a pair of navy trousers and a plain white t-shirt. She finished off her outfit with a pair of 130-pound pointed pumps from British brand Bowden. The charity joint's CEO's Rebecca Mystery explains how they try to match up donations with specific children so they don't feel like they are relying on random handouts. You put your own child in the picture, she explained. Kate asked if they have seen the needs of families change recently. Co-CEO Lauren Hall replied, People hanging on to what they have or passing it to friends or selling things like buggies for a little cash. Kate may have also dropped a major hint about whether she would have another child. Rebecca Mostry was commenting on the small clothes. Kate said, I look at them and I think, I don't want to go through that again. Kate laughed and said, I've been there and done that. Palace Hendry will be right back. I'm Nina Hobson, ex-police detective from the UK. I've worked on every crime mentionable, from murder to kidnap to stalking to fraud. When I left the force, I launched my own investigations firm that soon became a global operation. I'm also a single mother of two to two members of my team, my son Harrison and daughter Amy. Every week, we'll be getting first-hand accounts from psychological experts, operatives, former criminals, actual victims of the crimes that we investigate, and of course, my very own flesh and blood. From Storic Media, you're listening to Codename Siren, a true crime podcast. Available on YouTube and all major podcast platforms. We've never been to a royal coronation, but if it's anything like a concert or a sporting event, Harry can expect the usher to say something like, You are in row 10, right this way, sir. Harry's seats are indeed 10 rows behind King Charles. Presumably, William will have a much better seat, and it should be fun to see who made rows 2 through 9. Perhaps Harry will be seated next to Andrew Parker Bowles, who was married to Camilla for 22 years, from 1972 to 1995. He's been invited. He also reportedly once had a brief romance with Princess Anne to layer onto this amazing soap opera that is the royal family. Two guards who were due to start rehearsing for the King's coronation have allegedly tested positive for cocaine and cannabis. An army spokesman told the Mirror, We do not tolerate drug abuse and personnel caught taking drugs should expect to be discharged. William answered the phone while visiting an Indian restaurant. A customer called looking for a reservation and as Wills was closest to the phone, he answered it. Reuters tells us after checking with the owners as to the restaurant's location, he then had a discussion with the caller about when a table was free and whether they would have time to eat before catching their train. William ended with, What name was it under? See you at a quarter past two. But wait, there's more. The restaurant's general manager, Jiraj Sharma, was asked what he would name a cocktail inspired by Kate. The menu at the Indian Streetery includes cocktails named after each family member behind the establishment. William told Sharma he preferred vodka and liked a kamikaze cocktail, which contains vodka, triple sec and lime juice, and dubiously described the drink as silent, 
but deadly. The Independent points out silent but deadly is a phrase used usually to describe breaking wind in a way that makes no sound but emits a rather unappealing smell. Kate ignored William and simply said, I quite like tequila. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please follow us on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, YouTube, or your podcast app of choice. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue and good times. Can I interest you in some meatballs made out of mammoth meat? No? All right. Hi, I'm Johnny Mack, host of Five Good News Stories. It's a twice a week podcast where I share some upbeat stories like the dog who only will respond to commands if you use an Irish brogue. Or what about the guy who's filling potholes with noodles? Or the woman who, congratulations, she passed her driver's license. Oh, by the way, it was her 960th try. You you heard me correctly. It's five good news stories. Nice, easy way to start your morning. Five good news stories. The number five good news stories wherever you get your podcasts.